Welcome back everyone. Let's take a look at FEMAP and have a little chat about the work plane. Right now the work plane is over here where we draw our geometries and we at this point we cannot see it. It's hidden, right? And every time we turn on FEMAP and we want to write, draw something, it always automatically goes on the XY plane. So let's turn it on so we can actually see what we're talking about. If you do a right click with your mouse, go to work plane and you can draw uh, the uh, toggle on and off and you can see the ruler and the edges of your work plane. We can add other options to it. If you click here, you can see we can click like I want the uniform grid. Let's see if I want lines on the grid or maybe I just want dots. Let's leave it with dots. We can predetermine the uh, work plane size as well, 0 to 12, maybe like I want a 0 to 15 or something. And also if you have these turned on, see, adjust to model size. So we predetermined it here, but if you draw something that's bigger than this, it will just adjust with it. Okay, so these are just some of the options. Other stuff you can explore yeah, here, snap to, you can have it when you click on a, on a node or a dot, it snaps to it and recognizes its coordinates. They click OK and here it is. We can see our dots as we requested. And you can tell it's on the XY plane. Now, how we change the XY plane if we want to draw, let's say, on the ZY plane. It is actually very simple. We go back to the same place where we were, right click with the mouse, and work plane right here but instead of going into these options we're gonna go all the way to the left and we're gonna take advantage of these options select the plane if we would have several features of planes available we could pick one of those uh, previous on a, on a particular surface like let's say I have a cube here and I want to draw something on it one of its sides you could pick that or global plane here we can see this the shadow kind of gives you an idea of what uh, the computer is thinking about if you don't want that one we can click YZ XZ and let's see preview and then there you go it previews what it uh, selected preview there you go see now you can see that this plane for example would be the XZ plane this one right here click preview then it highlights it for you let's see the YZ we can see it from the side and preview it bam there you go we can see that this is per perpendicular uh, parallel with that one alrighty and we can click OK and there you go it flips it around see now our plane moved into the YZ plane Another option that is uh, quite often uh, useful is offsetting the work plane from a certain feature. So we go back to the same place, the work plane, and instead of the uh, leftmost uh, area, we're going to go in the middle and take a look at offset distance. If we click on it, since this is parallel with the Z and Y plane, so it's automatically calculating or offering you to offset it from that. So let's say I'm going to offset it by 2 and we can also rotate it but if we don't it will be uh, exactly the same like the way you see it here. See it uh, matches when these are up and down these are up and down. Now if I rotate it see what's going to happen. I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees. Bam! There you go. See? It's rotated it and it also moved it. This was the origin where we started it and it displaced it by 2. Alright? That's another option that we can use. Alright, very good. So this was a very short uh, discussion about the work plane and there you go. If you're interested in exploring all the other options that are possible, 
make sure you check them out. Alrighty, well, that would be it. Please like and subscribe, and make sure you have a great day.